Hey guys, what's up? It is your friendly neighborhood Ugus here, back again with another Binding of Isaac Afterbirth video. I am going to be doing an Eden run. Hopefully, we're going to be fighting Mega Satan. I was looking for a seed that I would find fun, and the seed began with a Dark Bomb and D4, which I went, I walked right into the item room, and it turns out there was a D6. So fuck the D4, reroll that shit, chocolate milk for life. All right, let's get into it. So uh, I definitely, you know, I can't deny. I had a run that I was excited about that I fucked up and we died on basement two of all places. Um, so the run, it was, you know, Eden, uh, it was a pretty cool setup. I, uh, I don't know. I kind of, I kind of wanted to win that run, but basically, uh, it began with parasite and then the first item room had crickets body. Uh, so it was real cool. I thought it was really neat. Um, because we had all the splashy splashes, but then I died because I had two hearts and uh, I didn't realize that Lust did a full heart of damage, even after taking a hit once from Lust. I didn't realize that uh, she did a, a full heart of damage. How do you push this thing? Why did it glide so easily and now it's just... <laughs> How the fuck? What's th what are the physics on this thing? Bad, I think. Please! Thank you. I'm gonna come back for that. Yeah, I had a good feeling that this would be our... Well, I'm glad I didn't take it. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, what I began talking about before I uh, so embarrassingly died to lust... Uh, I was talking about how there's this anime that I haven't seen yet, but I've been told is good. And I was gonna watch, but it was still airing, and I don't watch anime that's currently airing, uh, mostly because I don't like the wait between episodes. And so it's the first season's done now, and I'm gonna we'll check it out, but uh, the show's called One Punch Man, and I know very little about it. Pretty much all the information I know is from people, you know, vaguely telling me tiny little bits and pieces of it, but not like actually spoiling or giving me a synopsis or any of that shit. So, my assumption, based on the title, and the very brief information I've been given, nice, um, is that the show revolves around a man who punches people once. Now, this might, it might be, it might feel like an oddball. It might feel like I'm just making shit up. But that's what it seems like it would be to me. That sounds really fun. Uh, probably gonna ruin my life, though. So, that's the basic understanding I have. Uh, is that this is a guy who runs around and punches people once, and I guess has trained enough that he's, you know, his one punch is powerful enough to take him out, or it's like his own idea. He's like, ah, bleh, I'm gonna beat people with one punch or something. Who cares? The point is, it's apparently kind of tongue-in-cheek, um, and weird. And that sounds right up my alley. Tongue-in-cheek? Good. Weird? Perfect. Fucking, I am, I'm sold, bro. And, uh, yeah, so that's, that sounds right up my alley. I'll be checking it out at some point in the near future. The actual exact timing that I check it out, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> uh, over the next few days, most likely. Stigmata's cool, we'll take it. Not great, but maybe we'll take it. So, explosive shot. It's time to do this song and dance again, huh? Where I try desperately to make you work and find you interesting, and then you ruin my life. <laughs> But you know what? I like it. I really like Explosive Shot. I, don't, I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. I shouldn't like it. The amount of times it's ruined my run, or at least made it really difficult, uh, is so high that you'd think I would have learned... You know what? Fuck it. I don't need a trinket. Tick is great. you think I would have learned that Explosivo is not that good of an item. But damn, dude, I am fucking stupid. Like that. What was that? What was that? Huh? 
Also, what? I guess there was still a body or something. I don't know. It was weird. So those... Oh, fuck. It's so bad against Monstro, huh? It's so bad against any boss that has invincibility at any point. Alright, you know what? Fuck the Mega Satan run. Demon baby. Sure, whatever. Fuck it. Alright, fuck it. Dark bomb, please. Thank you. Have I mentioned that I hate Curse of the Blind? Because I hate Curse of the Blind. I hate most of the curses. They just feel unnecessary. They just generally feel dumb. You know? It doesn't feel like there's any rewarding aspect to them, you know? They're just kind of there to annoy you, to inconvenience you. That's the only explanation I see, is that they're there to inconvenience you. I don't know. I don't like that room. It, it, I, that's how I sound, apparently. Okay, I hate the pits! <laughs> Not like Pittsburgh, but like fucking rocks. How they just eat your momentum. They just consume it. Blah, I'm getting annoyed. This run is immediately obnoxious. <laughs> I've made a mistake, dude. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. Got no way to run. But life goes on as I keep fading away. That's like a young Christopher Walken singing uh, whatever the fuck that song is. I don't remember the name of that song. <laughs> I've heard it probably more times than I've heard most songs I actually like. And I can't remember the name for the life of me. So I'm sorry. Hmm. <laughs> this is pretty standard, huh? Pretty fucking uh, standard. Pretty, uh. Pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty standard. Blech, blech. Like, if I could just choose which shots I hate. Ah! If I could choose which shots stuck, you know? Like, if it wasn't just random. If it was either all of them, or the first one you shoot in a room, or whatever. If there was consistency to it, I'd love this item. But look at that! Those two in a row that just didn't fucking... <laughs> they don't deal damage! Just make it deal damage! Fucking get over there, please. You mother fucker. Like, yeah, okay, visually they look slightly different. You got me, alright? You got me! They do! It's, it's a very clear distinction. And by... <laughs> By very clear, I mean vaguely different. I didn't want to pick that up, that battery. Didn't matter, though. Well, it probably will matter, actually, to be honest with you. Bruh! Two! Jesus Christ. No deal with the devil. It's like speedball, though. That's how I feel right now about this one. I just... I want... Fun... Items. Do you like... Fun? That's pretty fun. I did need damage up. That... You know what? I feel good about that one. It's not a fun item, but it's a necessary item. Maybe, maybe not really, but I don't know, it feels kind of necessary. Did that work? Yeah, it did. High Priestess is not bad. Not great, but not bad. It'll help me on exactly one boss at some point.
I don't know how to use it in this situation, to be honest. Like that, maybe? The high priestess. <laughs> this is this is where this shit is bad. Because I need to hit these guys to alter their momentum, you know, or kill them. And then neither of those two things occur. Their momentum is neither altered, nor are they killed. They die eventually, but it's at a later time. It's like, it's it's kind of like the problem with anti-grav if you're just trying to use it normally. I hate everything about this goddamn room, especially when I have explosive shot. I need to kill those enemies quickly. Stop! No! Oh my god, look at that! What was that? How was I supposed to- Oh my god, dude. Stop! No! I'm haunted by this bullshit, dude. I didn't even, it didn't even go boom. It didn't even, it didn't even go boom. And uh, you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna get an explosive shot to latch onto this one. <gasps> they all died because I shot them. That's weird. I'm not used to that. I mean, that's, I guess, the reasoning that I should just, I should use to shoot more bullets. And you know what? I will shoot more bullets in this case, because that, that means more explosive. Though. Like, that's a good boss, right? That's a situation where the item is not bad. In fact, arguably quite good. Any boss that doesn't have invincibility, that was fair, huh? Um, it's pretty good on. <laughs> So I'll take it. I'll take pentagram. Sure. I'm in a weird mood. I'm in a very weird mood. I want both of those. Uh, I don't know if they're worth it. Oh, we have cursed the maze on this floor. It just didn't want to kick in until I'm in the backtracking portion. Oh, good. Good! Fucking... Come on. You're just fucking with me at this point, and I don't like it. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> Come on. Please. I don't want space bar items. I never do. I never have. I never will. I j <laughs> All right, I guess I'll go to this room, because they swap places. Wait, where is it? It's, like, way down at the bottom, huh? Well, all right. I'll just go this way and fucking soak some... Okay, it didn't happen. F this isn't even a good spot to be. This sucks. Like, I can't even reroll. <laughs> one coin every time, dude. I just needed two coins one time. Ugh. Let me just let me play the video game, right? Like, can I can I do that? <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. It worked, Dark Bum. You've done it. I'll take both of those. That's great. Thank you, Dark Bum, for being not useless once. Appreciate that. Huh? I got money. Uh, I didn't really want to pick up that red heart, but it happened. Um, I did want to go in here, so let's do that. And so far, so not awful. I'm just soaking that on the chin. Of course it's a Bob's brain. Yeah, okay. No, I would like to... I'd like to go to my shop, if that's alright with you. Can I... Thanks. Appreciate that. Of course there's no key. The one shop in history that doesn't have a fucking key in it! Oh! Just... <laughs> okay. Please let me just leave the floor. I don't want to 
deal with more curses. Thank you. I'm gonna have another curse. It's gonna be Curse of the Blind. I feel it in my in my bones. Apparently, I was wrong. I guess I guess I was feeling it somewhere else. Don't know where. Wasn't my bones. Oh, you know what? It was my grundle. Sorry. Shouldn't shouldn't pay attention to what you're feeling in your grundle. Generally, it's it's not great. It generally doesn't end well. Oh, the grundle, by the way, is the connection of your your ass and balls, also known as the ABC or ass ball connection, also known as. Sure, what was the other name for it? It's not the taint. The taint is your actual ball. What was the other name for it? The gooch. That's right. So if you know of one of those names, uh, you know what I'm referring to. Um, because that's the grumble. Alright, let's fight. <sighs> Invincibility. Okay, we killed him. He died. Huh? I'll take it. It's good. And I guess that means I'll reroll this, and it's the wafer. The wafer's great. You know what? Fuck it. We're just gonna immediately move on. Fuck this floor. Fuck this shit. We're gonna, we're gonna finish this run nice and easy. Whew. So can I stick these on like a not- I can, on a not vulnerable part. So knight should be pretty easy to deal with. I am a big fan of that pickup. Is that the only- nope, there's this one. Brrrr, okay. Look at me- guys listen to me, I'm a fucking- I'm a Starcraft pro, look at me. Look at me, I'm a StarCraft player. Woo or if you uh if you know anything about League of Legends, look at me, I'm a League of Legends player. The joke is that League of Legends players think APM matters. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? At least Dota players understand that APM doesn't fucking matter. I guess that's that's also not true. That's kind of a sweeping statement about all Dota players. There are definitely retarded Dota players, but I'd say the vast majority are ha have a full understanding of the fact that uh, APM is about as irrelevant to MOBAs. If you'll if you don't give a shit about me calling them that, I don't know why people give a shit when people call them MOBAs. Uh, it's never it's never made sense to me. Yeah, okay, it's not descriptive, but who cares? When you say MOBA, people know what you're talking about. People know you're, you're meaning Dota likes, right? Who cares then? Um. Eh? Hmm, 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 hmm. Ha 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 ha. Bada bada bam 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 But uh, I definitely remember from my time playing. You know what? This seems pretty sweet, right? Tried in this room. That was smart of me, huh? That was really good. Look at look at how good I am. Is this better? You know what? Fuck it. It is better. D6 has been nothing but trouble. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Right. So when I played League of Legends, there was always this like hilarious, inexplicable obsession that so many people seem to have with like APM, and it never made sense to me. It still doesn't make sense to me. It's, I mean, it's fucking retarded is what it is. These all suck. Um, like, it's just... Uh, reaction time matters. APM doesn't have anything to do with reaction time. <laughs> They're two dramatically different concepts. But people don't seem to know that. Like, yeah, okay, reaction time matters in League. Not so much in Dota. It does matter a lot in Dota, but I, I'll admit... There's a lot more things in League of Legends, there's a lot more situations where reaction time is relevant. Although at the same time, it has this very bizarre thing that makes reaction time not nearly as relevant, uh, known as Flash. Um, 
your your get out of jail free card. Your once every what's the cooldown? Like two minutes or something? Something insanely short? I don't remember. It might be up upwards of five minutes. I honestly don't know. I mean, I haven't really paid attention to any balancing that maybe happened with Flash, but I honestly just don't remember either from when I played. So I don't know. Um, but the point is every however <laughs> however often the cooldown is, you literally just can't die. Uh, excuse me. You're wrong. You could definitely die. I didn't know it was possible. Wait. There can be champion evil twins. This is a shocking revelation. But every however often, right? Let's just, for simplicity's sake, say five minutes. Those, those make it seem like it's not as broken as it probably is, right? So every five minutes, all you have to do is be able to hit your F key. Obviously F is for flash, you fucking dummies with your D flash bullshit. No. Right? And that's that's true throughout the entire game. <laughs> you know? Like, from the very beginning of the game, that is a true true statement. Right? Yeah, okay. Maybe, maybe people can, like, chain CCs or whatever, which I'll admit is pretty impressive if you're chaining stuns and... League of Legends, considering that the most, the longest stun in the game is like one second, but, you know, the vast majority of the time, you're gonna escape unless there's like five actual heroes on top of you, champions, sorry. So, consequently, because of that, that fact, because of that notion, reaction time doesn't matter nearly as much, right? Because you can react to the situation a lot later and not suffer real consequences because all you have to do is at some point you know before it's too late and the only time it would be too late is if you're dead right just hit your F key that's it right like it's very straightforward um, but like yeah there's a lot of like you know it's a, it's a very it's like it's like Call of Duty in the sense that it's much more twitchy than other games in the genre that's kind of, I mean, that's fine. I, I've also noticed I haven't been using Tammy's head, like, at all. Uh, that seems like a mistake. <laughs> Whoops. Well, at least in Dota, people are like, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fucking, who gives a shit? I, you know, people are talking about, like, oh, man, that that's such a good fucking, you know, teamfight ultimate. Good, nice one. That hit five heroes. Really good. Not, oh, man, look at that sick reaction time that he had to hit the Arky. Nah, man. You just you chose the time to fucking ravage, and you ravage, right? It's a good ravage, definitely. But nobody gives a shit if you can fucking, you know, 700 APM clicking around constantly. Yeah, clicking around constantly can it can artificially increase your APM to. It's not really a. a it doesn't alter your actual reaction time. But what it does is not too dissimilar from altering your reaction time. And that seems like a weird way to say it, but basically what I mean is, um, or, like, reaction time is, is, uh, like, umbrella term for all of the things that happen in the process of new information, right? So, reaction time can be broken down into, uh, identification, right? Um, I don't know, I guess wh whatever fancy term you'd want to use for figuring out what you want to do, right? And then doing it, right? And what what clicking a lot lets you do is it makes that final step, the click, the, the step of actually doing it happen eh, faster, I guess? Like, kind of, sort of? Um... I'm upset that I'm not getting keys from these chests. Yeah, I should stop opening them, but I should also get keys from them. Fuck this room. Fuck this fucking room. Fuck this bullshit, dude. Um. So. <laughs> just damage them. They're one shot to kill. And Explosivo is just like, yeah, let me just fucking stick to them. Right? <sighs> I'm also not using Tammy's head again. I just talked about this. Fuck off. Man. 
<laughs> die. All right, if, if you don't die to that shit, I'll be impressed. So yeah, like clicking a lot, having a high, I guess, quote APM, because it's not real actions per minute. It's fake actions per minute, right? Because all you're doing is right clicking. You're you're giving redundant actions, right? Doing that, though, giving redundant actions does, in fact, improve your, the, the entirety, you know, one step of the entire reaction time formula, if you will, right? So yeah, okay, it technically helps your reaction time, but not really dramatically at all. <laughs> all it really does is it keeps your hands warmed up, which is another fucking bullshit thing that a lot of dumb idiots like to use as an excuse, as a John, if you will. That's why you gotta make sure, whenever you're playing a video game with a friend, tell them no Johns. And then if their name is John, they're like, what the fuck, man? And then you're like, no, it's just, it's this, it's this thing, it's a, it's a fighting game term. It's, it's fine, I pro, no, listen, man, it's this, it's a thing, you just don't get it, I, it's fine though, alright? John, I like you, alright? Just, please, John, no, John, come on, come back, no, that's, you can't climb up there, John. John, you can't go up. John? John, what are you doing? No, John. What is that, John? What are you What are you holding? Is that a hair dryer? John! John! But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny, because in the Smash community, the, the thing is called fucking hand warmers. That's what it's... I guess colloquial, colloquial, collo, colonially, colonial, empirically, em, empire, colon, ca, 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 can, canonic, ca, colloquial, ca, col, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. What was I saying? Uh, right. In Smash Bros, quite often, it's this thing called a hand warmers before the game starts. In other fighters, it's always a button check, right? Which is reasonable. If you know much about fight sticks, you know a button check is generally kind of important, right? So, button check, make sure both controls are correct, as well as, um, you know, your fucking controller works, right? But in Smash Bros, they call them hand warmers, which is adorable to me. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Like, the idea of hand warmers is so fucking dopey. Like, the the idea, right, the implication is that you can't play to, to your full effect, to the full... I don't know, to your fullest, right? If your hands are cold. And that can be true. But the thing that's funnier to me about it is, an, is more... It's not, you know, oh, my hands are cold, let me warm them up. It's more like, oh yeah, so I didn't, I haven't played Smash in all of 30 seconds between the last round and this one. So, uh, you know, let me just smash on my fucking controller to show off to you. <laughs> like, that's, that's what it feels like to me. I don't know, man. I, I'm here to tell you, fucking GameCube controllers, if the buttons are fucked up, it's not a very sudden occurrence. You'll know, like, the, it, it doesn't just happen overnight. It's a very long, drawn-out process. Most controllers, in fact. It's just that GameCube controllers are no exception. So it's not really a button check. I guess it's more of a button check if you're playing, like, Smash 4, for example. Because, yeah, I mean, in, or Brawl, even. Um, because in those games, yeah, okay, there's different... Uh, control setups, and a lot of people have different control setups, and you know, whatever, it makes sense, sure, why not? But come on, man. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I find it so fucking adorable. I mean, it's almost offensive to to so, so many other people who, like, play video games at a high level or something. 
It's almost like they wanna they wanna fit in with it or something. I don't know. It's just it's weird. It's weird. And I know there are people who play Smash Bros. who watch these videos. Hey Ferg. Uh I do find it adorable though. It's so fucking I don't know. It's the only way I can really come that figure out to describe it. Good. Cool. There's a lot of babies. I do have BB B I really I just stroke out a lot in these videos, don't I? Please ah get off your dumb horse, you dummy. I hate you. I hate you. Die. I should be using that constantly. Why am I not? Why am I not using Tammy's head every room? I have this weird hang up in my brain. Just that makes no sense. It just it doesn't I can't just understand the fact that Tammy's head is a one room recharge. I just stuck Three fucking explosive shots on that stupid ass fucking fly. Dude, Chad, you got a lot of lot of gray on you, bro. Be careful. Just watch yourself. Fuck you, Ragman. Fuck you, Ragman. All right, whatever. We're done. We're done in rings, let's go. Go ham, dude! Dude, they don't deal damage! <laughs> they do so little damage for some reason. They shouldn't. They should deal like 50 plus. Whatever. We're done. That run sucked. I hated it. I would have liked to finish the... the <laughs> The cool run with the double split shot, but whatever. You know what? What happens, happens. I would like to thank you all for watching uh, this, this episode. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good shit, and I'll see you guys back again later today with the daily run, which is a Zazel. That's going to be a fun one. I'm going to go fast, I think. But, yeah, thanks, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one, which you can look forward to being an Azazel daily run, which means it'll be quick. And that's it. I don't know. I don't have anything else to say. The video's over. You can just click off of it off of it now. I'll just sit here and ponder life. Hmm. Oh. Oh. No. Hmm. Well, that's enough for me. I'll see. I'll see you in the next one.